Hey guys, Frank here again. And today we have a tank, a, a tank system, not even a pod system, a sub ohm tank with a single 18650 battery. This one's from Vaporesso. This is the Fours TX80. Uh, very similar to, let's say, the original Aegis. Uh, single 18650, 80 watts. Uh, with the kit, it comes with the, uh, the sub ohm tank, the Fours 25 sub ohm tank. Uh, there's also going to be a RDA, a Fours RDA that you can buy with it. Uh, not much to say. Let's, I mean, it's good. We'll, we'll talk. We'll go down low. Get up close and personal with it. Show you everything that comes with it. Fill it. You can take coil out, fill it. Go through the chip a little bit. Then we'll come back on top and we'll give our final thoughts. Let's go. All right, everybody. Here's the box that the Fours TX80 is going to come in. Nice picture of it on the side there. There it says Fours. On this side, it says it has the FT mode. Let me get that right. No, IP67 rated. Long lasting single 18650 battery. About that. And GTR coils. The new ones are flavor satisfied. We'll get into that in a moment. Here on the back tells you everything that comes with it. So I'm not sure if this is the retail packaging or if it's just the uh, sample packaging they're sending out the reviewers. Pause that, you can get everything there you need. All right, let's get this puppy open. There, just the basic plain packaging there. Little Typical envelope that comes with uh, all the Vaporesso products these days. And here you got your normal goodies, your anti-counterfeit, your warranty card, and your owner's manual, your user manual. Open this up. Gives you, let's get that cleared up there. I'll get there. Pause it there. You can see everything it says, how to put the coil in, how to fill it, packing list, your specs. Uh, an exploded view of everything. Come in. And then a little bit more about the chip. We'll get into all that later on. Little cautions and all that. And then, you know, that's a little bit at the end. Then it goes in other languages. We've got French, we have Portuguese, we have Spanish, Italian, I'm sure it's going to be in, in here in German, Polish. So, you know, uh, I think that's Greek. I think it's Greek. I don't know. It might be Greek. I had to get Dimitri telling you about that one. So, you've got, you know, you've got some uh, Russian, it looks like. Uh, it's either Chinese or Japanese. I'm not sure which, but other kind of different languages. Like that we'll get all this off to the side. Put all this back. Those. So at least you got a lot in the owner's manual. Star of the show here. Gonna have Type C charging cable. Always useful, but in this case it's single 18650. Here's this little badge thing to talk about. Fours it says on it. It's kind of hard to see with the glare there. Has a you know a couple of O rings, uh, extra extra glass, which you may or may not even need the extra glass. Depends on how rugged you are with it. Here's the extra coil that comes with it. This one is supposed to be a point three. Here's the tank. The drip tip cover. Take that off. You got your standard 810 drip tip. Comes right off. Uh, it might be, yeah, there's a couple of O rings on it. In there. Order turn. It comes, and the cap comes right off. Two nice, beefy fill ports. Put that back on. See, this is all, it has like this. I mean, rubberized coating to help protect the tank. It has the Vaporesso logo here. Vaporesso logo there. On the bottom, it says Fours Tank 25, 
made in China, serial number, all that good stuff. Non adjustable 510 pin. Obviously, you don't use this on a hybrid. Uh, air airflow, bottom airflow, there is a stopper. Nice and smooth, not crunchy. Take the coil, the change of coil. Oh, the threads are a little bit shitty right there. A little rough. And this first time taking it off. There's your, you've got two, two contacts there for your base. This coil is just going to come right out. To pull right back. Oh, this brand new. Get this off camera. There we go. Oh, and I dropped it. Here's the uh here's these new GTR coils. It has a hot material there. Matt, uh maybe I'll see in there, you can see the mesh. It says 0.15, 60 to 80 watts. Mesh is there. Here it says GTR. I mean, good solid airflow, good piece. Here's the inside. You have your glass and this cage in here as well. So they really, they really want this thing rugged. So what we're going to do is, I have e liquid here. We're going to prime this coil. This is some marketplace e liquid from BMF Labs. A watermelon, cola berry, and lime. I had this. Or is it really tough? I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna prime the coil. I always like to put a little bit of e liquid on each side, you know, around the sides of it, a little bit down in the middle here, just to get that cotton good and soaked, help it out a little bit. I have now put it back in, put it, seat it, go ahead and the base back on. Yeah, see the threads on that, not that great. I'm gonna keep the airflow closed, take the top back off, and we're gonna go ahead, throw a little chubby gorilla in there, fill her up. Now, so this whole four and a half mils of e liquid in there. A little bit more, and there we go. The TPD version for TPD countries have uh, it's two or I think it's two mils. That's their max, anyway. All right, I'm gonna set that off to the side for a moment, and let's check out the mod itself. Box here, very Aegis esque, I guess you could say. And Vaporesso logo there. Looks like it'll hold, we'll see, that's a 25, so about 25 is going to be about the max without any overhang, maybe 26. Four is there. Your cat there, which I think you could even use this little key thing. No. Okay, put it in here. Maybe, and turn, no. No, I don't know what that thing was really supposed to be for. You take your thumb in there. Turn it. Opens up. There you go. The shame it's only an 18650. You can see down in there you got the battery orientation. Here it says do not use batteries with broken with broken skin. So broken wraps. That's nice. It says it right on there. That's that's really, really nice that they put that on there. It's but again, you gotta have Nice grippy area. You have your, uh, your port right there for charging and for updates, which I don't know how many updates are really going to do for it. We'll see. That down to grab a battery. Put in a Sony VTC5A. 
positive up. This, you can throw it back in. One. Typical axon atomizer. Starts at five, goes up by ones all the way to 80. It does not round robin. Down. It's got some weight on it. See, we can put it on the scale to see with the battery. With the battery and without a, a tank on top. Let's see what we got. It's going to come out 168.3 grams. Kind of there it is. Right there, so you can see it. But 168.3 grams. Scale out of the way. Sorry about the glare, guys. All right, let's take the tank. Let's screw the tank back on. Let's see, this tank's a 25 millimeter. Because, again, no overhang. So, 25 is what you're going to get. Old load, new load, up for, I'm just going to be for new one, scanning, 0.18 ohms. And say that the best for this coil is supposed to be. Sixty set. It's going to be like seventy five watts. I have different modes here. FT mode, pulse mode, power eco. That's if your battery drops below forty percent. Smart temperature control, DIY mode, reset and exit. So we'll just stick in the T mode. Take it up to up to five watts. Oh yeah, I guess it does do half. Go slow. Go seventy watts. Open the airflow back up. Take a vape on it, and we'll see you back up. All right, gang, there you have it. This is the Fours TX80. My thoughts. Uh, right off the bat, I like the tank. Really nice flavor from the tank. Drip tip's very comfortable. Uh, I like the fact that you have that little dust cover on it. You, you can use if you put it in your pocket, you're at work. You know, this is made to be a good work mod. This is a tough little son of a bitch, you know, banging on stuff and it's not breaking. You know, it's got this cage. It's very tough. You, you can, I mean, they, they want you to torture and they want us to torture test it a little bit, but I really like it. So I'm not going to beat the hell out of it. I'm not going to shoot anything at it or anything, but this is, I mean, I like it. I I do. It's a it's a good solid little device. Uh, I think they're retailing for about they're going to retail well suggested I think on Vaporess so it's like sixty nine seventy bucks. Uh, I'm sure you know you'll find them cheaper once they get released. Uh, I haven't seen them around yet. I haven't really looked too much yet. See if anybody's going to be starting to carry them or have pre orders for them. Uh, the mod itself, let's say it feels good in the hand. Good solid little device. They're very much like the Aegis. I like the chip. I like the fact that it has temperature control. You can there's a DIY mode. There's all kinds of I mean, all kinds of nice features with the chip. Uh, chip, you know, acts fast and endures all kinds of different ways. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna make a second video show more about the chip. But it's a nice thing. The biggest con about this: why on earth are they still using a single eighteen six fifty? Today is the age of twenty one seven hundred. There is absolutely plenty of room to put a 21700 battery in here. Absolutely. There's no need to just use an 18650. You want to use an 18650, 18650 make it a 21700, put a sleeve in it, boom, done. But that's the only real con I have. I mean, everything else is good. The threads on the tank are a little bit, you know, a little, a little crunchy, but maybe through time they'll work in. 
but no leaking. The tank's solid, great flavor. So, you hear that? Oh, it's locked on. Three clicks locks it. That's that's how quick the uh, you know the uh, the mesh coil is. I mean, it's a nice mesh coil, 0.18 ohms. It's not whistly or anything. It's not loud. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, you got full airflow. If I turn it down, let's go about halfway. Still great flavor. Uh, a little too restricted for me at halfway, but I say it is 70 watts. Uh, I like these new coils. I think they're, I think they're going to be a hit and they seem decent. Uh, I say the GTX coils were really good. These GTR coils seem like they're going to be even better. It's a shame they didn't send me any extras, or I would have, you know, I would have done more with it. But they only sent me the one, you know, the one that came in the kit. You know, the one in it and the one, you know, extra. All right, gang, that's it. We're out of here. Everyone, be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.